Let's go to 30. A student connects the circuit show. Which switches must be closed for both the cell for the bell to ring, excuse me, for both the bell to ring and the lamp to light? So an important line here that I've written for current to flow, there must be a loop. Okay? So if you have okay a resistor here, okay, there must be a loop. Okay? Starts here and hands here. This is a loop. Okay, only if you have a loop, you will have current flowing in a circuit. So, they ask you in this question, which switches must be closed for both the bell to ring and the lamp to light? So, for that to happen, switch 1 must be closed, switch 2 must be closed, and switch 3 must be closed. So, the correct response will be C, 1, 2, and 3 only. 31. Two resistors are connected in parallel. Which value would be the resistance of the combination? So we will use the formula 1 over R effective, if you like. Or some people like to call this R total. Will be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay? So if you are just dealing with two resistors connected in parallel, we can find the effective resistance by just writing it as the product over the sum. So the product will be 20 times 30 and the sum will be 20 plus 30. So you will have uh, 600 divided by 50 and you will get 12 ohm. Okay, so this only works when you are having two resistors connected in parallel. Use this formula. The effective resistance or the total resistance will just be the product divided by the sum. Good, so the correct response will be A.